I'm Burn, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to get this look with makeup that you already have in your drawer. This is an imprecise skull makeup application that anybody, mature woman included, can rock. Even if it's not precise, it looks great. Skulls are a very imprecise art. Every skull is different, and do I dare say each has its own degree of rot? Well, this isn't precision, but you can get a really good skull makeup, and I'm going to show you how. This look is inspired by Crispy on YouTube, but I just thought for Halloween, it's all about a mask. So I put on my mask today. I'm super excited about this video because this video is a collab and we'll have links down below to a slew of Halloween makeup ideas. This collab is in cooperation with Erica Vieira of Beauty and the Vlog. She's just great. She's gotten all of us together and we're doing Halloween idea looks. Pretty scary collab. I want to say thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I'm burned. I'm over 50. I'm never giving up on makeup, makeup trends. I just love it. It's so much fun. I hope you enjoy watching. I have links down below to all of the makeup I've used on my face. I paid $9.99 for this entire outfit. I had these little skull guitar picks from so long ago. I have my own clothes on and I bought a $9 wig today. $9.99 at Ricky's in New York City and I don't even need the pink hair but these are just great ideas so please watch all the videos I have linked down below and stay tuned as I get ready to show you how to get this pretty scary First thing we have to do if we're over 40 or 50 and we're going to use Halloween cosmetics or any cosmetics is prep and prime your skin. Today I used a scrub. I patted on a really good moisturizer, thus the shine, and if I had to I would use an oil. Any facial oil, um, I keep this right here. It's camellia seed oil, maracuja oil, argan oil. I love rosehip oil. If you have dry skin, by all means, today, I really don't need this. I push the wig back a little bit, and now we're going to go in and start the look. This is a very matte look. That's that yellowy tannish matte look that a skull has is what I'm going for. So I'm going in with my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. And this is just, just a little dab will do you. The next thing is foundation and I'm going in with my NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. This is quite a few shades lighter than what I have. I actually use it on clients. So that's what we're going to dab all over the face. It's not a heavy makeup application. I've really sheared it out using the Beauty Blender. Next, I'm using a setting powder. I find this setting powder really whitens me up, and that's what I want. So I'm going in with that all over the face. Next, I'm going in and doing a dramatic brow. This is one opportunity for me to really overdo my brows. And I'm using the uh, Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Next, we're going to start on the eyes, and I'm going in with Kat Von D's Shade and Light Eye Contour Quad, and I'm using this orange color right here. Next, I'm going in with my Naked Urban Decay. I've used the heck out of this palette, and just using this faint brown right here, right there. 
just to darken up the eye a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with an even deeper eyeshadow in that crease and I am using for my Z palette the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in hot chocolate. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going in with this black eye pencil. Any black pencil with will do and Kajal, I have the Marc Jacobs, anything will do. You're going to sort of do like the smoky eyelet look. And blend out with your finger just a little bit before that really dries down. And what I'm doing here is I'm adding dimension to this eyeshadow look. You can skip that step entirely if you want and just go in with the brown eyeshadow all over again. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm just going to blend that out. Now I'm going back in with that orange shade. So we'll finish up with the eyes later on. We're going to go in and contour that skull face. So I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to use that orange color from the shade and light and follow the contours of your skull. and a little bit bigger blending brush. On my side of my eyes. I'm using a little bit of that taupey gray color in the shade and light contour palette. Take that brush and let's darken underneath the lip. And let's do right above to just make that frown line. Nothing that can't be brushed away. All of the money that I have spent on Botox to get those 11s out of there, I'm darkening them and putting them right back in. Ugh. Now let's go in and finish up that lower lash line. So we'll start with the orange color. We're going to take a smudger brush and use that black eyeshadow and smudge out. And we can go back in and blend that out a little bit. We're going to take a smudger pencil any gel, this is the Marc Jacobs. This is one of my favorite. We're going to tight line the upper and lower lash lines on both sides. Make sure to get every single bit of white on both the upper and lower lashes because we don't want any white peeking through. And I'm going to wing out my lash line on the upper 
And hey, I'm gonna go for the drama on a look like this. I decided to add some drama to my neck. So we're going to add lots of mascara, curl those lashes, and a few coats The mascara. Now I'm going to draw on the nose. For me, this was one of the toughest parts of this look, but I will tell you why I did the nose last, because I tend to lean a little bit into my nose. It's always, you can't miss it on my face. So I drew it last, so I didn't smudge any of the black off. the nose is you can draw it start small and then you can always get bigger if you make a mistake now I'm going to make sure I go in with that matte black pat I was really undecided whether I was going to do like a scary red elongated lip or do the exact look that Crispy did which was sort of like this imprecise artistic teeth look. I went with the imprecise so that you guys could see how to do this because I think almost anyone can do an imprecise line on their lip. So I'm going in with my Girl Lactic. is my pretty scary Halloween look. You know, it didn't take that long. It's kind of messy, but that's the whole thing. A skull is messy. I really like it and it was a lot of fun. I hope you really liked this video. And if you haven't already subscribed, I love makeup. I love trying the latest makeup trends. I'm over 50 but I'm not giving up on what I like. And makeup is so much fun. It can change your look. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, <laughs>